Internet also playing an important role. Spanish company Cinco Yotas now offers its specialty ham in the United States, but it'll cost you. We go back uh, to 1772. Uh, Cinco Jotas is the cradle of the best uh, ham in the world. It's the uh, Spanish caviar, is the Ferrari of hams. It's the creme of the creme. Approximately the cost of, uh, of a boning piece will be roughly $1,200. You can trace it back to the farmer's market. Shoppers scooping up homemade jams and preserves. Nowadays, you can find artisanal cuisine all over the place. Food trucks nationwide serving up ethnic and specialty foods. Exotic ice cream sandwiches and yummy gourmet grilled cheese. Brothers Bob and Joe of McClure's Pickles have operations in Brooklyn and Detroit. If you're out and about in the country, you can find ourselves in key independent retailers um, like Kroger's with a Murray's Cheese kiosk um, and some, um, uh, I'd say, more specialty retailers like Whole Foods. They're also peddling their spicy spears in the same places they started when the business launched in 2006. We also sell at the farmer's market still. You know, we started there and we're sticking we'll there too. There, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Many chefs are discovering the appeal in artisanal foods as well, saucing up their menus with unique fare. I, th I think chefs, uh, I mean, if they, if they believe in a product and stand behind it, um, and I think they want to use it, incorporate it in their menu and some of their dishes. There are trendy watering holes to sample suds made by microbreweries and wine bars offering up small batches of vino. The Internet also playing an important role. Spanish company Cinco Yotas now offers its specialty ham in the United States, but it'll cost you. We go back uh, to 1772. Uh, Cinco Jotas is the cradle of the best uh, ham in the world. It's the uh, Spanish caviar, it's the Ferrari of hams. It's the creme of the creme. Approximately the cost of, uh, of a boning piece will be roughly $1,200. Artisanal is also the new buzzword for corporations popping up on menus at places like Domino's, Wendy's, and Starbucks. But Rob Caulfield of Murray's Cheese Shop in New York says he doesn't like that. I think the, uh, the term, uh, the artisan artisanal, term has become greatly overused but you know in its classic or traditional sense I do think it is a handcrafted thing I think that's the craft element is is very important the specialty food association reports one major complaint among industry insiders there's not a real distinction between true artisanal foods and quote faux specialty foods in New York Harris Faulkner Fox News